president of the Small Business Association, Dean Straker, has argued that the increase in the National Social Responsibility Levy will hurt both manufacturers and their customers. Speaking during Friday's full meeting of the Social Partnership, he pleaded with Chairman Prime Minister Frondel Stewart to revisit the tax. We in the SBA don't for one second think that we do not need to contribute. We understand the situation. So we don't want a free pass. But speaking now as a manufacturer myself, I can speak with a little more authority on that. And what I can say is that this is a retrograde step for manufacturing, for NSRL to be applied on the final point of sales. Now I know that the President in Barbados Manufacturing Association on my left has had a meeting with the Minister of Finance and some leniency was given. However, what this NSRL is saying for local manufacturers is that if you buy local, you pay more. You may argue that you have to pay NSRL on imported goods, but it's not the same thing. Because to pay NSRL on the production costs, it means that you have to, you have to pay on electricity, you have to pay on your rent, your utilities, and then you have to pay on all the people that help to make that product, all the wages. So for us, it is, it is, I don't know how to describe it other than to tell you that we see this as not only hurting manufacturers, but more importantly, hurting all of our customers because they're the ones that have to tell themselves, how do I support buying local when it's costing me more? The automatic thing is to look elsewhere and to see how we can get this item at a cheaper price. Invariably, if you can get it at a cheaper price in Barbados, it's going to be imported. All imports come nearly all from China or Taiwan. We know what that labor is all about. It could never be the same thing. I have a real problem with asking our workers that we're trying our best to keep employed, asking them not to take increase in wages, but now having the government tell us that we have to pay an SRL off their backs. What we would be happy with, and happy to contribute, is if we could pay an SRL on the inputs, the raw inputs. So, for the benefit of, of Barbadians listening, in a case like a garment factory, you would be paying an SRL on threads, buttons, fabrics. That's what you'd be paying the NSRL on. And I think people can live with that. However, when you have to pay an SRL on all their wages, all the rent, electricity, NAS, it, it, it just cannot work. It's unfair.